That'd probably be doubtful, but you never know. What are the odds of Vince changing his mind and someone who got drafted getting redrafted to the same brand that they were on? Has that happened? Well, I, why do I have a feeling that's happened at one point or another? What's happened before is you draft someone to SmackDown, and then they're upset about it because their fiance is on the other show or whatever, and they complain, and then they get traded back to wherever they were in the first place. That's happened before. Well, what has not happened that would be funny is if they would draft someone from SmackDown to Raw, and then tonight they would draft the same person from SmackDown to Raw. Like they forgot they did it. <laughs> that has not happened yet. I think there have been times where somebody has been drafted and been hurt or not around and not wrestled and then just showed back up on the other brand. Well, Doesn't yeah, that, that, is, that has happened. That's happened. <laughs> but so again, much like King of the Ring, this is completely worthless, especially when you're going into this time of the year where you have Survivor Series and then you move on to the Royal Rumble where we have, you know, all of these people. And now you throw the extra on there that none of this is going to take place because you don't plan anything whatsoever. You're going to have a three-week gap. And I guess they're going to blame it on Crown Jewel taking place as if you need... It's a super show. It's in Saudi Arabia. You don't need any rules or regulations to apply to that. It's just lazy because they didn't do any planning. That's why Swerve Scott is what he's the North American champion. Is he coming up like Ted DiBiase did with the belt so he could face Pat Patterson in a Rio de Janeiro and D he, Pat Patterson can win? Uh, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Bro, are you None. where are you at? I mean, we just did this with Karrion Cross. He got called up to the main roster and he was a champion for like a month before they took the belt off him. It's I'm sure it's going to be the same thing. He'll lose the title stupid. in NXT in like two weeks. Well, I know, but again, no planning, much like Gary and Cross. Of course there's no planning. Dumb. Of course. Are you going to try to find a silver lining in this? Well, I mean, we got uh, Top Dollar. That's not a silver lining. Top Doll is going to be a, a silver lining in a lot of ways. I no, he's this, no, I he is not. Feeling. Oh, oh, he will, God. Mike. Oh, he Please. will. Now, Swerve is great. Also, here's another thing. Bring Legato up, please. Please, can you do that for me? I mean, I don't want to see the WWE spin on them, but it's going to happen. We've already seen it, the main roster stuff with Hit Row. That was the best thing that they had going on in NXT. Right before everything changed, that was by leaps and bounds the best thing they had going on with the two most interesting groups. And now look at where we're going to be. This is going to be all. Aw this is going to be awful. Portsmouth, you're on the air. What's up? What's up, Brandon here in Portsmouth? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.